Hello, everybody. Can we hear me or what? I'm going to need your help today. I just uh, tweaked my system. And hopefully it's uh, working correctly. Thank you, Sue. I, uh, I hope the picture is okay. There's no overtones anymore. The only thing I haven't done is t uh, tune the drums, which tonight's lesson will be tuned. Okay. So we're just going to wait a little bit for maybe one or two or three people will come in. Hopefully you got the PDFs. And today we're going to be working from the new breed. Now, if you don't have the new breed, if you don't have the new breed, is that better? I have a, a switcher here. I need to understand how it works, so. Okay, good. All right, well, when I'm talking, I have to remember to turn the switch on. So this is a little bit new, okay? All right. We're going to be working, I guess, uh, for the next couple of weeks from uh, the Gary Chester's uh, new breed. Now, Sue, I know you don't have it, so perhaps you should go on to Google, I mean to uh, Amazon, and purchase it, okay? Uh, you won't need it for the next couple of days because what I'm doing is I'm associating uh, the new breed with Stick Control and Gary Shafee. Okay, and I have the charts written out. You have the PDFs. So we're going to work on that and maybe later on tonight, maybe not, I don't know yet, uh, the syncopation book. So what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate uh, all of uh, the new breed, his systems, before we get to the melodies, as a prerequisite for Stick Control book, Gary Ch uh, Chafee, and the Syncopation book. And I will, I, what I will do, for those who have uh, the reading skills are not up to par, I s recommend you uh, get them going on. Or ask questions and whatever. But I will break everything down. Today... You see, the Gary Chester book is a very difficult book. And it's not a new approach. It's the way sh you should think when you play musically. Uh, at the time, you know, everything is mechanical at first. And then you take it from there, being mechanical to uh, musical. But it takes a lot of training and a lot of coordination. So what I've done, for those who have the um, PDFs, I've used the first thing was the stick control book. And what I did was I eliminated all the lefts on each line and made all the rights the bass drum part against one of his systems. Now, this is the first system is I would assume relatively easy, okay? Now what you need to worry about is your, your uh, texture, and then by texture I mean the blend of the ride cymbal, the blend of the snare drum, and the blend of the hi-hat. You still can hear me, right? So I'm gonna play that blend from the first pattern that you'll see on, uh, that's the new breed, is that, what is that, part, part one, it's the new breed, it's, it's, this, wait a minute, I can't say, I gotta put my glasses on, sorry, hold on, how you doing, Russ, it's the, uh, new breed and stick control, part one, now, like I said, you need to blend in your voices, I'm gonna turn off my volume, hopefully I remember to turn it on, Sue, you could help me out there, please, 
if you can't hear me, and here goes the, the I'm gonna not talk. Okay. So That's basic, that's the basic pattern. My hi-hat was on one, two, three, four. My right cymbal was playing straight 16th notes in unison with my left hand. Now when you're playing that, you have to remember, you know, you're gonna be flamming. You don't want to do that. Now, I'm gonna get a little sound test before I continue. And if you tell me that uh, the bass drum is too loud, the snare drum is too loud, or the cymbal is overpowering, I'll muffle the cymbal and if my toms are okay. So here we go, here's the bass drum. I'm gonna turn the volume off. I'm gonna hit the bass drum. Now, did all my voices sound okay? Anything overpowering, too loud, too soft, what? I would really appreciate some input on that. This way, I have everything set. Everything is good, okay. Everything is good. Everything is good, thank you. Okay, so let me explain what I've done for the first part. It's a stick control, Gary Chester, uh, the new breed, part with stick control part one. You see the pattern, it's 16th notes on the ride cymbal. And my hi-hat, and it should be the snare drum as well. I didn't put that in, because we're gonna move the snare drum around. But the snare drum, on the soft side, huh? Okay. I could turn the volume up, but I don't wanna do that. Hmm. I could turn the volume up, but I don't want to do that. My voice button is up now. Now, if I hit, if I hit the, my voice could be louder. Now, if I hit the bass drum with the voice on it, how does that sound? How about the bass drum now? And, and the toms. And the ride cymbal. The voice is very loud. Okay, let me, let me adjust that. Hold on. The voice is very loud. So I have... Uh, hmm. Number one, the voice is very loud. So I'm gonna bring the voice down, is that better? Clipping a little, what does that mean? All right. I'm gonna keep the volume the same on the drums. You say the drums are a little uh, softer. I'm gonna hit just a little bit louder. That should do it. Hello, Paul. Everything sounding all right here? Turning the, the, the uh, volume switch off of my voice. All right, we're just doing a sound check. Ross, you need to, if you're buffering on the video, first off, you need to turn, uh, turn off any windows that are open and reload your computer, you'll get a better picture. 
and better quality. Okay, Paul, Ross, and Susan. Well, I'm trying to improve it more. It's going to be better and better now. I know what I was doing incorrectly. Uh, the cameras had mics on them, and I had the mics on. And that was all the feedback and all the uh, overtones and whatever. But anyway, let's get into the lesson. Like I said, we're going to be working from the new breed. And I'm incorporating um, the stick control book and the Shafee book. I haven't done the syncopation book yet, but that's going to be coming. I wrote everything out with the PDFs. The only thing I, I didn't put on the first part is the snare drum. That's the uh, new breed with stick control book. I didn't put the snare drum in there because we're going to be playing different parts with the snare drum with that one. But for this particular lesson, you're going to play unison with the high. That's actually uh, Gary Chester's first system. He's playing 16th notes on a ride cymbal, 16th notes on the snare drum. And his hi-hat is one, two, three, four. Now, you don't want to be pounding. You want to be as musical as possible. Because we're going to be working uh, a lot with the bass drum. We're going to move the bass drum here and there. And that should be the dominant voice. So we're going to keep uh, the texture of the ride cymbal, the snare drum, and the hi-hat really low. Now, I'm going to play this now. Just just the, the uh, system, number one, but I'm going to keep the switcher on, I believe. And it might be a little contorted, so I'll do it that way, and if it's contorted, I'll, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to say, no, here we go, I'm going to sound, you can get a bonga. I'm going to turn the, the switcher off. I'm going to turn the volume of my voice off so you don't get picked up and you get a truer sound. So let's see how it, how it sounds like that. Here we go. We're going to do just system number one which is actually, uh, I'm playing, like I said, 16th with the right hand on the ride cymbal, 16th notes with the left hand on the snare, and my hi-hats, one, two, three, four. I keep my texture down. I try to blend in the ride cymbal, the snare, and the hi-hat. Here we go. Now, when I'm playing it, I'm going to play it slower. I'm counting 16th notes. And if the ride cymbal is overpowering, I'm going to make it sound trashy. So I need some input on that one. The ride cymbal. It sounds good. Okay. Thank you. No need to put it, make it trashy. Okay, so what I just did was I played uh, 16th notes in unison with the ride cymbal and the snare drum. My hi-hat, one, two, three, four. What you need to, to remember is when you're playing that, do not flam your, your notes. You want to make it a nice musical blend. Now, if you go to the first page, number one on the PDF, that's the new breed and stick control part one. Now, if you look at the first line of, of stick control book, you see one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. What I've done is I eliminated all the lefts. And just played all the rights. Now, what I'm going to do now is substitute, instead of the right hand on a snare drum, I'm going to use it on the bass drum. Now, you need to count 16th notes when I'm doing that because it's you're in a 16th note mode. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play from the PDF the new breed part one, stick control part one. Here we go. Now, if you need for me to do that slower, I will. But that's pretty simple. And if you see where all the, the bass drum part is off the stick control book, if I go to line two on the PDF, you see the, 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 stick, uh, the bass drum is moving to the and. So what I did 
All right, what I, uh, I'm going to play line two on the snare drum as written in the stick control book. And again, I eliminate all the lefts, and I get I need to keep the, the switcher on for that one. One and two and three and four and. And then I just substitute that for the bass drum part. Look at number two on the PDF. I'm playing the system. Now, I try to keep a blend, and what's really giving me the one, two, three, four, and not only me, but the band, is that hi-hat. That's laying down the one, two, three, four. You get it? Okay, so that takes care of the PDF number one, number two. We're going to go to number three now. And remember, it's very, very important to count 16th notes right now. Eventually, as you progress with, with these different systems and different methods and whatever, we're gonna to start to hum the different parts. This is sort of like a prerequisite and sort of a, a calisthenic thing to do with that system. So when you go into the actual systems themselves, piece of cake. Here we go. We're gonna do number, uh, was that, two. Okay, I'm counting 16th notes. Okay, that takes care of... That takes care of number two. We're going to go to three. Again, off the stick control book. I'm thinking of the stick control book here with this particular PDF as one and two and three and four. So it's gonna be a little simple right now, but it's gonna get extremely complex eventually. So this is for to benefit not only the well-rounded drummers or, or the seasoned drummers, but guys who are not familiar or drummers who are not familiar with the new breed or how to develop this with their bass drum. So it might be simple for some and difficult for others. So kind of like bear with it, okay? So here comes number uh, three on the PDF. Now at that moment when I'm playing that, I'm thinking, or maybe saying to myself, one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. Tonight, at tonight's lesson, I'm gonna play these, but I'm gonna play them with a click track. Okay? Let's go to line number four. Again, it's line four to stick control book, eliminating the lefts and making all the rights the bass drum. So, here we go, number four, and I'm counting. One E and the boom. Now, there's really no sense of me uh, playing these at 900 miles an hour. This is, like I said, it's an instructional platform, and that's what we're doing. Okay, so now, we're going to go to the next one on the PDF. Hold on. Which is line 5 of the stick control book, and it's line five on your PDF as well. So, what we have now, again, I look at line five, I eliminate all the lefts, and I'm thinking of it still, the line itself, one and two and three and four and. Okay, and I eliminate the lefts. That gives me, with the bass drum, 
I'll try it with the, the, the uh, voice on. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. Okay, so now you have 72 of these to do with that approach, with that concept. And I'm not going to sit here for an hour and do 72 of them and then take you to the next step because there's three steps we're going to do today. Do we all understand this or would you like me to continue on the PDF or move? I'm going to play line five, but would you like me to move over to the next approach? Do we understand this? Any questions on this? If so, speak up. Okay, Paul. See, it's, it's a prerequisite is what it is. It, that's what it amounts to. You're not playing any kind of uh, phrase or you're not playing what the horns are playing or the bass player. It's just your ability to control the bass drum, what's inside of this system. Okay, so we have Susan Ross and whoever else. Do we all understand it? Then I, I will move over to uh, Gary Chester, I mean, the New Breed Stick Control Part 2. Before we get into part two, there's a sort of an endurance exercise I like to warm up with. I'm going to play the pat the the uh, the system from the system number one, and I'm going to drop my bass drum on all sixteenths. So I'm playing in unison my snare drum, my bass drum, and my ride cymbal. And my high has given me the one, two, three, four. Now, uh, no speed, just a nice musical blend. Yeah, the bass drum is uh, the dominant voice. So, with that being said, here we go. Now, that's not fast, but it might be a little too fast to understand what I did. I played, <clears throat> can you hear me now? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I played everything in unison or harmony or layered, so to speak. And that is a, it's it's a warm-up to go into the second phrase, the second phase, rather, of the interpretation of the stick control book for this next one. So if you can do that two, three, four minutes and make it musical, yeah, you, you can use a, a crescendo, decrescendo with the bass drum. That gives you a lot more control or it's very, much more dominating uh, than the other voices. Okay. And, you know, you do it for three, four minutes. Not, don't kill yourself. Do it with, with a click track. You do it with a click track and for two or three minutes and keeping everything correct you're going to have a, a great foot or a great interpretation. Okay, so now we're going to go to the second interpretation of the stick control book. Again, I used the lines to eliminate the lefts and made all the rights the bass drum. However, instead of me thinking of the stick control book like this, one, uh, sorry, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and I'm consolidating that to, instead of two measures, making it one measure as one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now what that does is move the bass drum in a different place when you're interpreting the system. So the first system was the bass drum was on one, two, three, four. This time with that interpretation, thinking of the line as the 16th notes, the, and the right's falling where they're supposed to fall and eliminating the lefts, you're going to get this with the bass drum. I'm sorry, I should count it. Uh, let me count it. One E and the, two E and the, three E and the, four E and the. Now, I'm going to put it all together. I'm going to turn off the voice.
Now, <clears throat> I'm following the system the way he wants it. And I'm locking you in to that what he wants, which is it's great. But, you know, you could move the voices around. Okay, I could take that same system, instead of me making my right hand the ride symbol, I can make my right hand Mr. Floor Tom. Let me give you an example now of me moving that voice, my right hand voice, to the Floor Tom Tom. You have that option. But for instructional reasons and to communicate back and forth, I like to keep it on the ride symbol. So in essence is what I'm saying is you're not limited to doing that on the ride symbol or the snare drum. You can do it wherever you want. As long as you maintain that, synchroni that it's synchronized that way that you're doing 16th notes constantly with two hands and you're playing the bass drum independent. Now if you see the way I just did the stick control book, the, the, right, the right foot instead of being one, two, three, four, because I was thinking at first the eighth note. Now I'm thinking 16th notes, so that moves the bass drum to one E and the two E and the three E and four E and. Now I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna play the pattern and I'm gonna use the ride symbol. Okay, got it? Now, we'll go to the second line of that PDF. That's Gary, that's this New Breeds and Stick Control book, part 1A. Okay, now, we're going to move the bass drum again. To, instead of now the one and, the bass drum is going to move to the E and the da. So I'm going to play that nice and easy. Are we all following the interpretation? Utilizing George Lawrence Stone's brilliance with uh, Gary Chester's brilliance? Okay. It's, it's a beautiful thing, man. These books, all the books are in unison. Wait till we get to the syncopation book and we're gonna start playing the melodic structures. Like I said, I'm gonna break them all down. Now we'll go to line three, and now the bass drum is going to be on the one E, the two E, the three E, the four E against the pattern. All right, I'm going to turn the switch off. Okay, so on and so forth. You could do all of, I think, 22 of them I gave you. And if you want to journey off into all 72 with that interpretation, go with it. Now, this is more or less, not a trailer, so to speak, but uh, an introduction to this new journey. It's not new, but it's new for what, what I'm streaming. Okay, and now we're going to go to after you've, you painfully understand what I just said, <laughs> you're going to go to now Gary Chafee's book. And that should be the third PDF I gave you. That should be entitled New Breed and Gary Chafee. Now again, the system is the same. Now what I did is I took the foot patterns from, I think it's page 22, uh, from Gary Chafee's book and applied them to this system. One thing we should all know, and we're gonna give credit where it's due, 
is that, you know, Gary Shafee is a monster strummer, great knowledgeable person, and he has taught some incredible people. But he, he was a student of Gary Chester as well. So the relationship with State Control Book and Gary uh, Shafee's book, all just about the same, the same concept. So now, I'm going to play the first couple uh, lines of that PDF. The first PDF you have is the bass drum, and it's going to be simple because you went through everything else. The bass drum is just going to be on one and three. So here we go. drum over, and I'm counting right now, 1E e and the 2E e and the 3E e and the 4E, e we're going to move the bass drum over now to the E of 1 and the E of 3. Sorry! something I preach all the time that you should really focus, the whole world should go away. But I feel really bad right now because I got an email, and you know who this is, Susan. I'm, you know, it was Mike, you know, the bigger guy from Pennsylvania. Um, he had to go to North Carolina today. His father's dying. So I feel really bad, and that just went through my mind. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Ross. I have to get used to this switch. Thank you, everybody. Like I said, I'm, pretty, I'm feeling pretty sad right now because I received an email from Mike, and we all know who Mike is. He frequents these lessons all the time, and he was just here at the drum camp. And uh, I had an email from him this morning telling me he has to go to North Carolina where his father's in the hospital on his deathbed. And that's really, I feel bad for that guy. I feel bad for anybody whose father or mother is like that, but, you know, because I know him, and, and he's just such a sweetheart of a guy, you know, you don't want anything bad to happen. So, but it's part of life, and I hope he handles it well, and I'm sure he will. So that's why I just made a couple of mistakes, because it's something that I preach. When you're playing, the whole world should go away, and the only thing that you should have in your mind is the playing. But I couldn't help putting that into my mind. So excuse me, I'm going to play the second version of uh, the second line of that PDF, uh, the Gary Shafee and uh, the new breed in Gary Shafee. Okay, here we go. Okay, and I go through the whole sequence, 1 through 22. <laughs> now, for those who are watching, because there's quite a few of you watching, that don't enter the chat, if you would like the PDFs, you can email me, and I'll send you the PDFs. Now, I'm going to make the lessons a little bit longer than usual from now on because there's a lot to cover. And I don't want to feel like I'm ripping anybody off or, or whatever. Uh, I want to, you students to, to get the best less quality of lessons that you possibly can and learn as much as you possibly can and ask as many questions as you possibly want to. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do tonight, 
we're going to continue with this in a little bit more in depth. Tonight, my lessons are at my website. Uh, that's mapatellalivelessons.com. Susan, could you do me a favor, please? Could you write my email out in the chat? That's mattpatella1001 at gmail.com. I would sincerely appreciate that. And then my address is mattpatellalivelessons.com. So again, for those who would like the PDFs, thank you, Susan. Uh, for those who would like the PDFs, please email me. Okay? And to continue with this tonight, it's going to be uh, on my site. Now, I'm going to do YouTube every afternoon, well, on Mondays and Wednesdays, rather, at 1 p.m. until the last day of October. Then everything is moving over to my site again. Afternoon lessons and evening lessons. There will be no more free YouTube broadcast the way I'm doing them now. There, I will be on YouTube occasionally. So if you want, uh, you can become a paid member and you can view the lessons and they're archived and, and uh, the PDFs are in there, they're archived as well. And if you're on my mailing list, you will receive them. Any questions about anything so far that we've done this afternoon? Because I'm going to have to stop. YouTube only allows me a certain amount of time. And we'll, as far as my site is concerned, I could spend as much time as I'd like. Any questions? That's my website. So if anybody wants, uh, they could visit me tonight at 8.30. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. Uh, there's the lessons, be, besides the uh, content of my lessons, we're going to remain uh, not only with the stick control book, but now with the, the, the uh, Gary Chester's New Breed. Uh, and Gary Shafee's uh, time functions. And occasionally I will do a one surface lesson for hand technique, which will be the stick control book, and Joe Morello's Master Studies 1 and Master Studies 2. Okay? All right. Let's all reach out and keep uh, Mike in our thoughts. Everything is going to be well with him. So I, I feel very, very bad. Anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed to let today's lesson. I'm trying to get a better quality uh, from my system. I think I have it now. Just maybe a little bit more tweaking. And we're going to be in business. And I will be start making these videos with this system. So guys, have a great afternoon. And uh, we'll see everybody this evening at 8.30. You're welcome, Susan. At 8.30 tonight. Okay, have a good day. Let me see if I can reach this now. It's getting better, I guess.